we're here letting you know that you can always do something for your garden. One of the things you can do, no matter what, because we had a nice storm last night, but when you got a daughter who's willing to help you, like Mercy, you'll see her later, one of the things you can do is turn over your compost pile. And that makes the compost go faster so that you can use it in your garden sooner by turning it over. So. Okay, what Mercy and I are gonna do now, and you're gonna get to see Mercy later, is we're gonna clean out a stall for the compost. I'm gonna kinda show you how it's done, and I'm gonna give you a tip if you don't live on a farm, okay? So we're gonna be back here shortly. So this video is about, you can work in your garden anytime. We can't even get through this gate. It is frozen solid, but we're just climbing over, and we're trying to find our rake so we can clean out a stall. See you in a minute. Mercy and I are still looking for the rake in the ice wall. Now this is my wife's awesome flower garden. And this is what it looks like in an ice storm. Uh, we made this several years ago. It's beautiful. She, she had the vision for it. And we're looking for the rake. So follow me into the ice garden. Just find it. Oh, and this is my daughter's uh, fairy garden in the winter. Okay, we're still looking for the rake. This is my asparagus patch that I haven't cleaned up yet, which that's a bad gardener, but sometimes you have to do what you can. This is remnants of my asparagus. Um, so anyway, we're still looking for the rake. But we think, Mercy and I think we found a couple tools that'll work over here. This is a frozen hoe but it'll still work. You can garden anytime. And this is a frozen three point, used to be four point. Uh, I got the name of the sun. Anyway, it's a pitchfork, basically. Okay, we have some tools. We need a wreck, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. When you have 13 kids, nine boys, you tend to lose tools. I'm not gonna harp on them because I lost my share. But you couldn't find it. We're gonna make do. So here we go. This is clean as stall. You finally get to see the producer. This is Mercy Morris. She's my 10-year-old producer. She's awesome. She's also my assistant stall cleaner. Some of them. <laughs> this is great for your compost pile. Now, you may be saying, I don't have a farm. That's okay. Because there is no farmer anywhere that I know that you couldn't call and say, hey, can I clean out your stall? And he will be so happy for you to do that. Go there, find you a local farmer. I know there's one close. Ask him if you can clean out his stalls. Get you some rakes, probably a good rake that I can't find. And get you a partner like this. And then clean it out, bag it up or whatever you have to do and take it and put it in your compost. So this is gonna be awesome for the compost. Yes. Okay, so here's my, uh, this is interesting. This is fresh frozen cow poop. <laughs> um, if you're not a farmer, then this is gonna gross you out, but don't use this, it's too hot. Um, in other words, it'll burn up your plants. But you put it in your compost three months, awesome to go. But that is an interesting shot. Fresh frozen cow poop, you don't see that every day. All right. <laughs> 